let's, let's see. Energy vibration reading. Huh. For the um <laughs> for the month of January. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful um surprise sharing. Thank you. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for um, the Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Okay. Um, all right. It's a month or a year of water. And it's a year of water, and um, it's a year of... Uh, uh, um, connecting with feminine ages and this is wonderful um, because you Aries and you I just woke up <laughs> um, because uh, it's going to be a game shifter for you Aries okay all right let me just check out what you guys are working with in the month of January Okay, you Aries. The general energy for the month of January is going to be water. So there's a lot of information that is going to be coming out. Okay, so be aware of that. Um, this is good. So um, you guys are dealing with the energy of the lovers. Oh my God. If you notice, so, um, if you notice, um, the lovers fell out. I was... And I was like, why is the love is coming out in the reverse? I, I looked at it and why is the love is coming out in the reverse? But you guys have the energy of the lovers, which is good. So, um, and I'm seeing a lot of signs having double energies that is coming up. A lot of signs have double energies that is coming up whatever the situation is whatever that is transpiring a lot of double energy sign um a lot of zodiac signs are having double energies and this um yeah the lovers came out because the card like the card fell out and i was like and it spins around i was like hmm, what's this all about now <laughs> <laughs> so um the month of january for you guys is the energy of the lovers okay and i'm sure everyone um is trying to find out which deck it is this is this deck i did a review on it so it's on my website so um this is the deck that i'm going to be using i think it's one of the most beautiful decks but not only that um it is powerful so you guys have the energy of the lovers for the month of january it is five weeks First two weeks is a hurt energy, and the two last weeks, the zodiac energy is going to be here. Okay, and your fire sign. So let's let's see what is going to be coming out for you guys because okay, um, on a new journey, um, came out for you guys. So some of you are going to be on a new journey in the month of January. Of course, uh, cliche. It is a new start, a new month, a new year. It is cliche. It is a new start. So there we are. Um, in the first week of January, you guys have that. There's a lot of you who are going to be starting new ventures and moving out okay, on your own. So, and it's cliche, it's January. Look, let's look at the second week in January for you guys. You have to make a decision. Okay. Um, on new journey you have to make a decision okay so um okay so what is else is so okay we have a, um, some of you have to make a decision um, this could be your son or this could be your partner this could be a family member okay That's in the third week, water. Fourth week, you have the three of wands. OK, 
okay. What's happening in the fifth week? You have the energy of the Empress. So this is wonderful. It's really a balanced month for you guys. Um, you begin the month with the major arcana. You end the month with the major arcana. You begin the month on a new start, new journey, and you end the month with the energy of the Empress. You uh, manifesting um, stability, financial stability, but nurturing yourself as you're nurturing others. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, you begin the month with a hair sign. The second week is the pentacles. The third week is water. Fourth week is fire. And the fifth week, it is the heart energy. This is going to be a good month for you, Aries, because we can see the balance of what is happening and what is transpiring. Okay. All right. Um, some of you are on a journey and a new journey and need to make a decision okay some of you are in a new journey and need to make a decision and um, the king of cups is here so there is a situation that some of you who are in relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, you need to make a decision about this person okay um, because you're on a new journey you're moving forward and you need to make a decision about this person who is this person is it your father who is this person does he play a significant role in your life is it your boss what is happening because this um, king of cups is someone 45 years and older is Pisces cancer or scorpion there needs to be a decision needs to be made about this person um, and this is very important let's see what is happening the two of Pentacles and the knight of cups we have the energy of the eye princess oh my god she hasn't come up and the energy of the eye princess is that listen to your intuition about the situation listen to your intuition about this situation because whatever that is happening or whatever that is playing out the energy of two of Pentacles your um, higher spirit guides need to um, you need to listen um, and obviously there is a situation with someone out there that has a child that is a Pisces cancer or scorpion and you need to listen to your intuition about this situation whatever that is happening whatever that is playing you need to listen to your um, intuition about the situation it can a situation with your son and you listen you need to listen to your own intuition oh my god the energy of the magician comes up another major arcana and the energy of the magician is that you're right about you're trying to manifest you're trying to heal something the infinity symbol is here for you guys whatever is happening the energy of the number eight the infinity symbols are here so there is obviously an um a connection of infinity with you and this knight of cups so it's someone between the ages of zero to 45 some of you are dealing with it's a child it's an infinity that means that this um relationship is from lifetime and lifetime it's infinity it will never be broken um the three of pentacles is here and the three of wands okay so um in the fourth week going in the fifth week there is a collaboration so um they are basically saying you know heal this situation try and work together heal this situation and collaborate together because it's going to be um it's going to it's going to be worked hit it's, it's, it's going to work hit, okay so whatever is happening some of you have a situation it could be a father um, you know it's it's a message about it could be a father um, or your mom that you have to make a decision about um, it could be some of you leaving someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, you guys are dealing with the water sign people in this month um, you're trying to balance out and um, there is a situation for some of you who has a son that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion you need to balance out the situation okay king of cups what's happening for the king of cups the two of Pentacles is here there is a transition that is going to be happening between the king of cups and the eye princess okay so there is someone who is um, really um, 
um, uh, this person intuition um, um, it could be a psychic person um, and there is going to be a transition okay so um, some of you uh, if you're in a relationship with the king of cups uh, this person uh, there is going to be a transition that is coming in okay so you need to understand that I princess and the magician together now this is powerful the I princess and the magician together this is this is this is as airful you have the power to change whatever is happening okay and let's see what is happening the knight of cups the I princess and the magician you need to have some rest you need to have some rest now there's a transition that is going to be coming in you need to have some rest some of you are dealing with someone who's a what to sign Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, intuition can be but he could be using magic okay or he could be paying someone to do it to you okay so be aware of this because whoever this person is and I'm really realizing that kids are working kids are basically working against parents these last days so oh yeah oh yeah this just fell out and said stand your ground this just fell out and say stand your ground so I said it and then this fell out and slide and upright stand your ground against whatever the situation is okay so there's a whole lot um, is going on uh, ladies and gentlemen let's um, see transition and the four of swords transition and the four of swords new love is going to be coming in ace of cups so there is going to be a transition the I princess is uh, here um, uh, you know making sure this transition comes out ace of cups is coming up for you guys then we have the energy of uh, um, the seven of swords um, and you're standing your ground the energy of the seven of sword and you're standing your ground about the situation okay so there was the, some deceptive situation that has um, taken place and you're standing your ground um, and you're standing your ground now um, seven of Pentacles um, so seven 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 okay um, and the outcomes is judgment okay so um, positive 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 um, seven of Pentacles um, and seven of swords you're standing your ground okay so um, I would love to go on with you guys um, for the extended readings for the extended readings you need to understand that um, you um, uh, to find out what is going on um, you need to be aware and aligned okay you need to be aware and aligned and to find out what else is going on for you you need to connect with us on um, you need to connect with us <laughs> Um, on on the mount okay there is a lot going on so it's just a dollar ninety nine I just make it very easy for um, some people it's just a dollar ninety nine and you need to understand that life is about to change for a lot of people and this is the first year so let's see what is happening and what is transpiring for the Aries oh my god alchemy is coming up <laughs> damn you Aries some other sign got alchemy and this is your first um, you Aries are the first for this um, um, for today because I just woke up and I'm just doing you Aries and this is alchemy so this is good hey this is really really good you Aries okay it's really good um, you're gonna be changing a lot of stuff changing yourself changing things around you in this month this is gonna be good all right let's um, see what is your sp 
spirit animal guides or your animal spirit guide that is coming out um, I'm working with a lot of animal spirit guides uh, um, a lot of animal spirit guides uh, and let's see what come up for you Aries oh my god okay this is card one and this is card two so choose one of these cards and then I'll explain to you what happened number 44 um, the pen to spirit reclaim your power BAM <laughs> okay I'm sorry reclaim your power BAM you Aries go for it go for it so you Aries are dealing with the panther and the panther is the um, the spirit of the cat um, reclaim your power and guess what number 44 so hold on to that number it's a good number it's the angels number number 44 is the angels number this is good and for the people who did the second card uh, who choose the, the second card it's pig spirit use your mind wisely it is the pig spirit use your mind wisely so what they're saying is that don't go off with worries and that sort of a thing but use your mind wisely because there you know it is very important for you to do that 47 is 11 so you have uh, um, 8 and 11 so you have infinity um, strength and then you have the energy of 11 okay so this is you know this is really good this is really positive um, 44 77 33 um, these are powerful numbers for you um, Aries um, so remember 33 44 uh, 77 okay so um, this is good um, for the extended reading ladies and gentlemen you can connect with me on on the mom and I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back and I'm wishing you a really really wonderful wonderful month of January um, you can pick up the extended reading on the month using the hero below okay Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look and see what's up now. Okay, let's see, take a look and see what's happening. What is happening? The panda spirit, reclaim your power. Yeah. And then you have pig spirit, use your mind wisely. So when the pig spirit comes up, it wants to say to you, stop worrying, basically. Okay. All right, let's see what's oopsie daisy for you guys a lot of energy okay alrighty so some of you ladies who are in a relationship with um, a Pisces cancer or scorpion uh, um, obviously you need to make a decision about this person okay um, whoever this person is you need to make a decision about this person okay the eye princess and the knight of cups the eye princess and the knight of cups make a decision I princess wants you to make a decision um, about the Knights of Cups which is another Pisces cancer another water sign with um, and it has to do with um, justice okay could be a legal case it could be something that you have to make a decision about this person um, you could have gotten it in a conflict with this person you need to make a decision whether or not you know you're going to be charging this person or not don't do it let it go okay um, we have an energy here of the magician a friend is going to be coming up to help you out of the situation okay there are people in I place an organization a friend is going to be coming up to help you out of the situation okay now I'm seeing that some of you decide to take an offer you're going to be networking together and this is going to be bringing you positive um, path forward so let's see what this is all about yes um, some surprises about to come in 
unexpected surprise but really wonderful surprise the energy of the Empress is here three of Pentacles and this is going to be wonderful these are unexpected surprise that is about to come in and this is really 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 good it's going to be positive okay alrighty now some of you are dealing with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion man and there is going to be a transition um, this person is really um, um, psychic okay what's happening with this um, situation Ooh, there is some jealousy okay so there's some jealousy but